Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will talk about the NCS color system. I will explain what it is and how to use it and how useful it is when working with colors. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and click the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notified of all my future uploads. All right, let's get started. NCS stands for Natural Color System and is a universal language for color communication. The system is used to better communicate color between all of those involved in a color process to ensure that the precise color end up the way it should be. Because the system is so incredibly efficient and accurate, it's being used by architects, designers, and even material and product manufacturers all over the world. The NCS system is based on six elemental colors that are perceived for us humans as pure. And by pure, I mean, for example, that the color red is only red and not mixed with a hint of yellow. The four chromatic colors are yellow, red, blue, and green, and the non-chromatic colors are white and black. There are approximately 10 million different colors in the NCS system, and each color has an own code that is usually written on the front or the back of the color sample. To read the codes easier, you use the color circle and the color triangle, and I will go more into depth about these in just a minute. Once you have mastered how to read the code system, you can simply understand the attribute of the color and know how the color would look like without even seeing it. The code is split up into two sections, with the first four numbers giving you the nuance. In more detail, how much whiteness, blackness, and chromaticness there are in that specific color. So let's say that you have multiple color samples in front of you, and they all have the same first four numbers. This means that they all have the same nuance, regardless of the color hue. The color hue is the last four numbers and letters of the code. If you have multiple color samples with the last part of the code being the same, this means that the color hue is the same regardless of the nuance. I remember that it was kind of tricky for me in the beginning to understand this system, but bear with me, I'm going to start explaining it more in depth. Let's start with explaining how the code is built up and what it all stands for. Each code always starts with an S that stands for standard, meaning a standard color used in the NCS system. There are times when the code will end with an N, and in that case, the N stands for neutral. It's a non-chromatic color, meaning that there is no hue of color. After the S comes four different numbers. These numbers represent the nuance of the color, and the numbers being added up is always up to 100, meaning 100% of those four numbers. Here you will read how much whiteness, blackness, and chromaticness there is. The numbers that are being shown are only showing the blackness and the chromaticness, with the first two numbers being the blackness of the color, and the last two numbers showing the chromaticness of the color. The whiteness is not written out, but will be the remaining of what's left when you have added the blackness and the chromaticness together. In this case, we have 10% blackness and 50% chromaticness, which means we are up in 60%. So what is left is 40%, which is the whiteness of the shade. To easier read off the nuance of the color, you use the color triangle. And I will come back to the triangle in just a minute. And what about the end part of the code, consisting of both letters and numbers? Well, here we are reading the hue of the color. And once again, like in the beginning of the first four numbers of the code, the last part of the code is also equals to 100%. The first letter, in this case Y, stands for yellow, and the last part, 60R, stands for 60% red, meaning that the remaining 40% is yellow. So there's more red compared to yellow in this specific color. For reading off this color hue easier, you use the color circle. And as you can see here on the color circle, you have the four chromatic colors, the red, yellow, green, and blue. If you start moving up or down, the color will not be pure anymore, but will start to blend with another color neighbor. You can see here that the percentage of the color red will slowly move over to the color yellow. Eventually, we'll end up to the pure hue of the yellow. Once again, here we are seeing the color hue, 
and the letters and numbers are the last part of the MCS code. All right, so let's get back to the color triangle that I was mentioning earlier. Here's where we can read the color nuance. Imagine we are having a color hue that is B50G. We know that the hue has 50% green and 50% blue. From this hue, we can cut through the color circle and travel in towards the middle. In the middle is where we have the whiteness and blackness, with the whiteness as the North Pole and the blackness as the South Pole. Here is where we are seeing the first part of the MCS code, and we can see that the color is having 30% blackness and 55% of chromaticness. Combined, that's 85%, and what is left is the 15% of whiteness. More than half of the nuance is chromatic, and we can see that it is closer to the hue and the color circle, and further away from the middle, where we find the blackness and whiteness. I want to give you guys a little bonus treat. There is actually an NCS color app, and it's called Color Pin, and I just want to show you guys how it looks like on the phone screen and how to use it. All right, guys, so here we have the um, Color Pin app, and I just want to show you how you will use this. You can see here on the top it says NCS Natural Color System. You can click over here on the top left those three lines are and let's go to NCS Navigator on the top and here you basically have the color circle and you see I can spin this starting from the color red and then I'm just working myself towards the yellow you can see there the end um, hue code it's just getting less and less red until we're actually at Y, which means it's 100% yellow. And then we can move around this little thing within the triangle to see where exactly we want to be. And this is just a great way to, to find colors. Um, if you're working on a project and you're trying to get different nuances and color combinations, you can just kind of move it around and see what you what you like and then once you have this let's say you want to have this color you will click on it and you can literally save color you can like save it into a new folder so here I have several folders that I have saved so you can hit the little plus button and you can create a new folder and then you can save like several um, color and nuances um, for a project, which is great. And then you can actually save it um, as like an email to your client if you wanted to. Um, so I just really think this app is awesome. Um, it's so useful, so I just really wanted to show you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it. In addition to that, there is an NCS Color Atlas with all the colors within the NCS system. This atlas is very useful if you know you are working a lot with colors and wants to have it with you on work projects, etc. Alright guys, this is all that I have for this video. I hope that you have a better idea now on how to use the NCS color system and will use it the next time you are working with colors. I appreciate you all so much for watching as always. I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.